Good morning dear students I am your social teacher of class 4 today we are going to write lesson 10 our forest and wildlife resources now take your book take page number 74 in that we have a fill in the blanks b match the names of the trees c true or false now see the first question of a fill in the blanks deciduous forests are also known as dash forests answer is monsoon m o n s o o n monsoon second question mountain forests have dash trees answer tall t a l l third question mangrove forests are also found on dash of a rivers under special roots that grow dash the first answer dash is deltas d e l t a s deltas and the second dash answer is above ground a b o v e above g r o u n d ground fourth question kicker and date are found in dash forest answer is than t h o r n than Fifth question: Dash is the practice of planting more trees. Answer is afforestation. A F F O R E S T A T I O N afforestation. Now we can move to part B. Here. match the name of the trees with the forest where they are found by drawing lines also write one more types of trees found in each of these forests in the blank space provided students at the top babul rosewood sundari these are trees and the down mangrove evergreen thorn deciduous mountain these are forests in the dash we are going to write other trees which means students see the first blank in that mangrove only sundari trees will grow okay now we can move to evergreen in that evergreen ebony e b o n y ebony trees will grow and the third blank thorn in that thorn date palms d a t e date p a l m s palms in that fourth blank deciduous teak t e a k teak and the last one mountain pine p i n e pine now we can move to part c true or false see the first question forest refers to natural vegetation true second question evergreen forest have tall trees such as ebony rosewood and mahogany answer true third question deciduous forests are found in some parts of west bengal odisha and north eastern states and in the andaman and nicobar islands answer false fourth one 
Kaziranga National Park is known for its wild ashes. The answer is false. Fifth one. Kanha National Park is in Gujarat. Answer false. Students, we completed the book exercise. Now, take your class book note. No other way. The answers are so big. So, you have to write the answer. Here, we have part D. State one difference between the following. And E. Answer the following. Both we are going to write now. Start in new page. Write lesson 10. At the corner, our forest and wildlife resources. Now, start D. State one difference between the following. The first question is evergreen forest and a deciduous forest. Students, here we are going to write only one point. Okay, first complete the evergreen forest. Then start the deciduous forest. We can see evergreen forest now. These forests are known as tropical rainforests. These forests do not shed their leaves. We can move to deciduous forest. These forests are known as monsoon forest. These forests shed their leaves during summer students no need to go to new page if you have space down you can start there second question deciduous forest and coniferous forest like the same you have to divide the page into two and write deciduous forest coniferous forest teak sal Sandalwood and Mahua or trees found in these forests. The snow covered peaks do not have any vegetation. On moving down, coniferous trees like fir, spruce, and pine. Now we can move to third question. I think in a page. To difference between is enough the third question you can start in new page tidal forest and a thorn forest divide the page see the point forests are found in the deltas of major rivers trees have hard wood and special roots that grow above the ground now we can move to thorn forest side. Trees have long roots, a thick bark, sharp thorns and small leaves. They can survive without water for long period. Students, you will have more space on the down. So write E. Answer the following. And see the first question. Describe the deciduous forest of India. Here we have four points. See the first point. Deciduous forests are also known as monsoon forests. Second point. Teak, sal, sandalwood and mahua are trees found in these forests. Third point. Trees shed their leaves in the dry season. Fourth point. These trees are found on the wetter part of the Deccan Plateau. Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Bihar and foothills of the Himachals. Now draw one line. We can move to second question. What are mangrove forests are known as? Where are they found? First point. 
Mangrove forests are also known as tidal forests. Second point, forests are found in the deltas of major rivers. Third point, trees have hardwood and special roots that grow above the ground. Fourth point, these are found on the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta as known as Sundarban. Third question, how are forests useful to humans? Forests are useful to humans in many ways. First point, plants and trees in forests give living beings oxygen to breathe. Second point, the roots of trees in forests bind the soil and prevent soil erosion. Third point, trees improve the quality of a soil and also promote rainfall. Fourth point, forests provide us with the fruits and vegetables, medicines obtained from different parts of plants and trees, food for animals, wood for cooking, timber for building houses, furniture, making matchsticks and plants. Most importantly, forests provide shelter to many birds and animals. Students, draw one line. This question is very big. So leave some space and write as it is like a points. Now we can move to fourth question. What are the initiatives taken for forests and wildlife conservation of India? Here we have some points. See the first point. Forest conservation requires a healthy relationship between humans and the environment. Second point, the practice of planting of trees in a new area called as a forestation. Third point, the practice of Planting trees on a deforested land called as reforestation. And the fourth point, the government of India has launched programs like Vanamat Shiva to protect and plant trees. Next point, in order to protect wildlife, the government has set up a number of national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. Next point, wild animals are protected in these places from being hunted and killed. Last point, the animals here in their natural habitat. Students, I already said all these questions are very big. How much I need to reduce? I reduced everything. Now we can move to fifth question. Fifth question, name at least five wildlife sanctuaries 
and national parks of india also mention the state where they are located the first point is jim corbett national park in uttarakhand second point kanha national park in madhya pradesh third point gir wildlife sanctuary in gujarat fourth point sundarban in west bengal fifth point periyar in kerala are some famous examples of wildlife sanctuaries and national parks students i think this lesson is very big so take your own time write very neatly and complete your class work again i am saying if your class work is over you can start your 